Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, quadrilaterals and the angles inside them. So the first thing to obviously know or need to know is what a quadrilateral is. So a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape. So I've got a couple of examples here of four-sided shape and they all come under quadrilateral. Easy to remember, quad meaning four. Okay. The next fact that you need to know, and hopefully you do know this, is angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. Okay, that's a fact you need to know. Otherwise, you're going to come under uh, or struggle with all the questions that come up. Okay, so that's the thing we need to remember throughout this video. So let's get started then. So here is a quadrilateral, so a four-sided shape. I know what three of the angles are, and I'm missing one. That's what I need to find out, that value x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add up these three angles that I don't know, oh, sorry, that I do know. So I'm going to use a column method to do that. Uh, to line them all up, make sure your units, your tens, and your hundreds are all lined up. And I'm going to add these together. So 6 add 8 is 14, um, add 8, 22. So 2, carrier 2. Okay. Next thing there, 1 add 9 is 10. Uh, add 7 is 17, add 2 is 19, so 9, carry 1 over, and then 1 add 1 is 2, so I get 292. Okay, so that's what I've got, but like I said at the start, angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360, so I need to get up to 360, so you can either think, what do I need to add to this to get to that, or you can just do a subtraction, um, so 360 minus the 292, which will leave us with 68. So x, the missing angle there, is 68. Okay, because then all the angles add up to 360. That's quite basic, and most people can do that. Where people fall down are some of these uh, unique or different types of quadrilaterals. This one here is a kite. Okay, and usually it will have little dashes here to show that those two sides are the same length. And then two dashes here to show that these two sides are the same length as well. Okay, so this is a kite. The thing to remember with a kite is that these angles here are actually the same. So that's 110, which means x is also 110. Okay, so once you know that, you can then work out this missing value down here, y. Doing exactly the same technique we did over here, we add up the angles that we do know. So I've got 110. I've got another 110, because that's the value for x. Add the 80, so let's add them up and see what we get. So 0, 0, 0 is obviously 0. 1, add 1, add 8 is obviously 10, so uh, 0, carry the 1 over. Then 1, add 1, add 1 is 3, so 300. And exactly the same thing over here. It needs to be 360, so 360 minus 300 leaves me with 60, so y is 60 degrees, okay? And x there is 110 degrees, okay? Now you might have seen this shape. If you've seen my parallel lines video, you might have seen this shape. This is a parallelogram because those two sides are parallel, oops, and those two sides are parallel, okay? So it's a parallelogram. We can tell it's parallel because these arrows, so one set of arrows and then two sets of arrows, so two parallel lines, two parallel lines, parallelogram. And if you've seen that video, you would have um, seen me or heard me say that opposite angles in a parallelogram are the same. So if that's 50, x here is also going to be 50. And then you've got two ways to work out what y is. Most people, when I do this in lesson, will then go, OK, well, I know 50 and 50. So they add them together to get 100. Then all of the four angles will up to 360, so they do 360 minus 100, and then obviously get 260. And because I know those two are the same, well, those two are also going to be the same, so then they do 260 divided by 2 to get 130. That's absolutely fine. You can do it that way. Um, it's not a problem. However, like I said, this is on my parallel lines video. In which case, you can use the parallel lines rules, which basically says that if you go inside the parallel lines, so if I look at these two parallel lines, if the line then goes through it, so if I just extend that slightly, 
that if they're on the same side, here, we use the interior rule, and interior angles add up to 180. So 50 plus y will be 180. So I just do 180, take away 50, which again gets me 130. So there's two ways there. You can use the interior rule, and obviously to work out that, we can then go opposite angles in a parallelogram are the same as well. So, next example here is like this sort of arrowhead, and then lots of people get a bit confused because obviously this point is gone in, it's not like any other usual quadrilateral that you see, but the rule's still the same. All the interior angles, so this angle here is 30, this is 60, this here is 50, and then this reflex angle here, they are all going to add up to 360 because it's still 1, 2, 3, 4, still four sides, still a quadrilateral, they still up to 360. In which case, the method's the same. I'm going to do 30 plus 50 plus 60. Add them all up. 0, 0, 0 is 0. Uh, 6, add 5 is 11. Add 3 is 14. So carry the 1, so it's 140. OK? It's like the same thing as before. 360 minus 140 is going to give me 220 degrees. So like I said, a reflex angle, because it's above 180 degrees. OK, so just a few little things there to be aware of. And here's a few more. So if I flip the page over, I've got another three examples here to show you as well. So this shape here is a trapezium. It's got one set of parallel lines. Again, I can tell that because it's got the arrows there. So that's parallel. But these two aren't. So it's not a parallelogram. We call it a trapezium. OK, now I haven't got all my angles here. So I can't use the fact that three, uh, they all add up to 360. But if you remember from when I just did my parallelogram, you can use the same rule. We can use the interior rule here because they're parallel lines. If I was just to extend that slightly there, OK, and then extend that as well if you like. So we've got two sets of parallel lines. These two angles are inside the parallel lines and on the same side. So they both add up to 180 using the interior rule, in which case 180 minus 70 will give me 110. So it's just another one there um, to be aware of that might trip you up. OK. Again, I've got a kite here because these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. I'm going to tell that by the single dash, single dash, and then double dash, double dash. OK. But this time, I haven't got that angle. OK. So what do I do? Well, it's going to be the same as this angle because it's a kite. So that's also going to be x. But obviously, I don't know what x is. But because I know they're the same, we can do the following. If I got 60 and 40, I can add them together to get 100, OK? So what's left? Well, they're all going to add up to 360. So 360 minus 100 is 260. And because they're the same, so two of them will add up to 260. All I've got to do is just half it, so 260 half is 130. So both that would be 130 and 130. So it's just another example with a kite. OK. And finally, with this one here, it's just using lots of other angle facts. So if you look at my basic angles video, uh, it's got loads of uh, the, the things you need to be aware of for this. So the first thing is, if you have two straight lines that cross like so, OK, opposite angles are the same. So that one's going to be 130. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So to work that one out, 180 minus 110 is going to give me 70. So that angle there is going to be 70. And then I can just use my uh, angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 rule to help me work out that missing one. Deliberately put here not to scale because it might look like a bit like a parallelogram. So I put not to scale to show you it isn't because obviously these angles here uh, don't follow the same characteristics. So I'm going to add these up. So 60 plus 130 and 70. So 0, 0, 0. Sorry, put a plus there. Uh, 7 out of 3 is 10. Add the 6 is 16. So 6, carry the 1, and then 2. So they all add up to 260. And then 360, which is what they all add up to, minus the 260, which is what these three add up to, is obviously going to leave us with 100. So that angle there is just 100. So it's just um, using the straight line rule and opposite rule to fill in some missing angles before I then can work out all the angles in a quadrilateral. So just a few little things there to uh, hopefully help. Um, cheers.